Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. Um, I just got a large order for some bud faces. Um, they want a, wanted them this style. Let's see if I can get you here. So they're going to end up looking like this. Um, but I was sitting here in the tedious task of doing a whole bunch of these. Uh, I figured that I would share. <laughs> so, I have a few more left to do. Um, and here's just a new uh, technique for me that I just simplified. Um, I always simplify everything down to the least amount of moves with the most effect. So, to get this shape, you have to curl the end, and then you have to make this bend here. There's a lot neater one. You make this bend, and then you bend the spoon, and then it's bent over the rest of it with your hands. So, I'm going to show you how I do this. Using the flat wearable 3D um, press attachment, this goes on your Harbor Freight press. Um, or whatever press you're using. Um, I've been using it a lot. So, all we're going to use is the biggest uh, bar that comes with it and our mini pin. I really like the new mini pin. It's a lot, a lot longer than the old one. I think I put it up somewhere already, but... Um, those are going to be the only two that I'm using now. I was using this one, this one, this one, and this middle sized one, but I've got it down to just these two. So we're in the second deepest channel in the blocks. Um, and these are the old blocks. So, because the way that these, they want these, they wanted them in just this shape, I have to start with them, with the pattern side down. I'm just reaching around to make sure it's on the back side. There. <laughs> Cost you money to watch. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna bend this down. Left with the tab back here. I'm gonna put that down in here, keeping my spoon straight. And I'm just gonna kind of bend that around. So here's where I switch arms. My left hand is using is gonna do the press. My right hand is going to be pushing on the stem here. You can also use a hammer if you need to. But it goes just a little bit. And what I'm looking for is this, as Suzanne calls it, the candy cane shape. So we're going to go from there. And next we go to the mini pin. So the trick with the mini pin is the back piece here is wanting to block us from getting further. We want this actually up here a little bit. So I'm going to bend it a little bit, push it forward. Bend it a little bit, push it further forward. So just keep going forward until it's there. Now, you, again, you can use your hammer or you can use your thumb and just kind of bend that up. Some of them are softer than others. Now we're going to take, flip it over, and we're going to go to the foot or heel. See, we're going to this piece here. So the, the spoon is resting on here. It's not touching here. That's 
just some of them work out that way. So we're just going to go straight on this. I was tilting up here to give it a little bit more, but my shape really started coming out better by just bending it in my hands. So this is our shape right now. I'm going to put my index finger right here in the corner. this in my palm and I'm just gonna bend it right over. Now what we're left with is that guy. And it's not quite dead center of the spoon but they're pretty close and I can tweak and I have to tweak them every so often to get kind of out of alignment. So you have to twist and turn. Sometimes the, the spoon part is wobbly this way. Uh, but those all get addressed later. So let's do another one. What I'm doing now is I just move it from the center over to the edge. So I can get my spoon past this nut. And like I said, you can use the hammer at this section. Poof. And if you need to, you can take and put this back in the vise. If you need to open that up because you don't like the style, you can put it back in here. Kind of open it up a little bit. See my blade? Not my blade, my spoon will bend. Comes right back. Now we have more of a gap in here and it's rounded. So lots of ways that you can do it. I love the, the new 3D, 3D press system. Um, it has been really fun to use. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> uh, I hope that helps you guys. These cool little bud bases. I'll be making another video on putting these together. Um, simple soldering techniques. All right, I hope you guys all have a great day and keep making. If you're new to our channel, please hit subscribe. Also, click the bell and select all so you get all of our updated videos as soon as they come out.